Hello and welcome to Bike Wale and to this list of upcoming motorcycles for the year 2023. This list comprises models that have been confirmed for the Indian market. In fact, their pre-bookings have already commenced. It also includes a list of motorcycles that have not been announced yet, but we have seen these motorcycles uh, through a lot of spy images and we expect to see them in this year. Now do note that this list is only about motorcycles and we will be bringing you another list for upcoming scooters in the year 2023. So make sure you have subscribed to our channel and clicked on the bell icon so you are notified every time we upload a new video. First up on the list is Royal Enfield's Super Meteor, one of the most awaited middleweight cruiser motorcycles in the Indian market. Royal Enfield unveiled the motorcycle at the EICMA motorcycle show in Milan and then later displayed it at Ridermania in Goa in India. What the company also did was start the bookings exclusively for the visitors of Ridermania 2022 and it later opened the bookings online. Now if you have booked the motorcycle back in December, you would have gotten a notification saying that the uh, deliveries would commence in February 2023, which means that Royal Enfield will launch this uh, cruiser motorcycle very, very soon. Um, this motorcycle is based on company's 650cc platform, which also underpins the uh, Interceptor 650 and the Continental GT650. But this is not just a uh, revised ergonomic exercise. No, this motorcycle gets a lot of updates which are not seen on the 650cc motorcycles. So first of all, this will be the first 650cc Royal Enfield to get the company's tripper navigation system that shows you turn by turn navigation through Google Maps. This will also be the first Royal Enfield motorcycle to feature upside down front forks. Other features on this motorcycle include LED lighting, um, a lot of accessories that will make it more touring ready and alloy wheels. All of these features would be seen for the first time on the 650cc model. If you wish to check out more details about this motorcycle, you can check out our YouTube channel where my colleague Vikrant Singh has presented a detailed video. So make sure you check that out once you are done watching this video. The Super Meteor will be followed by another 650cc motorcycle and it will be based on the Shotgun 650 concept that was unveiled last year. Now the Shotgun 650 will also use uh, the same uh, engine as the Super Meteor, the uh, Interceptor 650 and the Continental GT650 but it will feature a more beefy design, it will have uh, fat profile tires. We have seen the motorcycle in the concept form but the production model will be toned down a little bit so we'll see a lot of more production uh, ready parts on the uh, final product. Uh, the launch details are not available yet, but we expect to see that motorcycle uh, unveiled towards the end of 2023. And we hope that the uh, deliveries should begin in early 2024. From road bass to Royal Enfields, we are going to go to off-road focused Royal Enfields and we are talking about the Himalayan 450. Now we have brought you a lot of exclusive details about this motorcycle and you would know that this is Royal Enfields first liquid cooled motorcycle in the Indian market. This motorcycle will use a 450cc liquid cooled engine uh, in a single cylinder format and the motor would produce about 40 bhp of maximum output. Uh, the engine is actually capable of producing 45 bhp but uh, Royal Enfield is compromising on the top end performance to deliver a more linear power delivery throughout the power band. Um, this motorcycle will feature, similar to the uh, Himalayan 411, a 21-inch uh, front wheel. It will have a round headlight, but unlike the current Himalayan, this motorcycle will come with full LED lighting all around. Royal Enfield will also introduce a uh, rally version of this motorcycle. Now, we are yet to see the rally version, but uh, what we expect to see is a shorter windscreen that will give you a more clearer vision of the path ahead. It will also most likely feature a flatter seat that if you know your off-roading skills or if you have have done any bit of off-roading you would know it would come handy to move around to shift your weight when you are uh, tackling various surfaces it can be sand a rocky terrain uh, so this flat seat will come really handy when going off-road uh, the launch details for the rally version are not available yet but we expect that it should arrive uh, sometime in the same uh, timeline as the standard model. Uh, do note that Royal Enfield plans to uh, participate in the Dakar Rally and this motorcycle will be further tuned for uh, rally uh, purposes and um, we will see uh, what Royal Enfield plans but that's something into the future. Initially, at least for now, we are sure that the Himalayan 450 is coming and it's coming very soon. Expect this motorcycle to come uh, towards the end of the year, maybe uh, before that if Royal Enfield plans to introduce it before the festive season. So, 
somewhere around mid 2023 to uh, late 2023. The list of 450s does not stop there, however. There will be a Roadster version of the Himalayan that will go up against the likes of the uh, KTM 390 Duke and the G310R. Uh, now, while this motorcycle, the Roadster motorcycle, it hasn't been named yet. Uh, some people are calling it the Hunter 450. Some people are calling it the Roadster 450. There is no official name available yet, but uh, we are going to call it Roadster for now. It is going to use the same engine as the Himalayan 450. We expect the power output to be similar to the uh, Himalayan 450, so expect about 40 bhp of maximum power output. But the this will be a road biased motorcycle so you'll see 17 uh, inch alloy wheels on both ends alloy wheels means that it will come with tubeless tires which is a boon when uh, situations where the tires tend to puncture and you don't have to remove the entire assembly to fix the puncture so that will be a great thing um, it will also feature sporty ergonomics so we expect to see a flatter handlebar slightly rear set foot pegs that's about the ergonomics uh, in terms of features, it should be similar to the Himalayan 450, so full LED lighting, a tripper navigation system, it should be there on the Roadster model. Uh, this motorcycle might arrive uh, a little late into the year, so we are expecting a late 2023 unveil and launch, maybe around November or December. From one adventure tourer to another one, and we are talking about the Hero X-Pulse. Uh, the X-Pulse is set to uh, receive a bigger version. We have seen uh, this motorcycle in Spy Images, and while the displacement details are not available yet, uh, this new motorcycle is expected to come in the 300 to 400 cc range. Uh, one of the big things about this motorcycle is that it will be a liquid-cooled motor, so we expect to see healthier power output number than the uh, X-Pulse 200 that is available in the Indian market already. Uh, the spy images have also showed that this motorcycle will feature a more touring focused setup so you'll get a taller windscreen, uh, a more beefy fairing at the front for added wind blast protection. Uh, but it will still be off-road biased, it will still come with a 21 inch uh, front wheel and a 17 inch rear wheel both featuring wire spoked units so these would be rugged wrapped in dual purpose tires so this will be an off-road focused motorcycle but with enhanced touring uh, capabilities. Um, this motorcycle will also feature updated hardware. So unlike the current x uh, this one will get upside down front forks. Uh, the feature list will include LED lighting, a uh, LCD display and similar to the X-Pulse uh, 200 4V which is already available on sale, this one too will get Bluetooth connectivity which will show turn by turn navigation system. Uh, the same platform, the same engine will also be seen on the Charisma, if they call it at all a Charisma to bring back the iconic brand or else if Hero decides to call it the Extreme, uh, whatever the displacement it will be called uh, accordingly. So if it's 300, it'll be called the Extreme 300 or the Charisma 300. If it's a 400, likewise, uh, the launch details for both these motorcycles are not available yet, but we have seen uh, spy images of a, a test mule that looks quite uh, close to production ready. It was camouflaged, but it looked quite uh, close to being production ready. So we may see this motorcycle uh, around the festive season would be a good time to launch it because that's when a lot of people are buying new motorcycles. So uh, we expect this to arrive in uh, mid to uh, say just before the festive season of the uh, year 2023. And now going from off-road to on-road and we are going to talk about the next generation KTM Duke 390. This motorcycle has made several uh, appearances through spy photographs and we have seen a lot of changes on this motorcycle. First up is the design. The design would be uh, inspired by the latest generation uh, 1290 Super Duke R. So you'll see sharper body panels um, at the front. It will still have an LED headlight with a split style design, uh, but the body panels would be sharper, more muscular. Uh, the changes however would not be limited to aesthetics there will be a mechanical upgrade too because uh, the spy images have showed a different uh, cover for the engine case uh, we have seen a different route for the exhaust setup so we expect to see mechanical upgrades too now will this become in the form of um, a bigger displacement or will it come in the form of uh, interior changes to make the motor more friendly for road use uh, it's still too early to say anything about it but we expect to see big big changes there apart from the mechanical upgrades uh, this motorcycle will also get a bigger radiator with 
twin fans instead of one on the current model for improved cooling. It will also get uh, better electronics in the form of uh, traction control. We also expect to see cornering traction control system uh, on this motorcycle, cornering ABS on this motorcycle. Um, the quick shifter is already there, Bluetooth connectivity is already there, a color TFT display is already there and we do not expect them, uh, those features to change much. Uh, these styling changes would be brought down to the other Duke models as well. So we are talking about an updated design for the uh, 125 Duke, the 200 Duke, the 250 Duke. Uh, the smaller displacement models may not get all the features, uh, the premium features that would be seen on the uh, 390, but they will still get the aesthetic upgrades that would be available on the 390 very soon. Uh, in terms of launch, we can expect this motorcycle to arrive in mid to late uh, 2023 again because we have seen spy images and uh, although the test mule was camouflaged, it looked quite production ready. There were no testing uh, additional parts on it uh, or, you know, big camouflages that did not look production ready. We expect to see the uh, updates on smaller displacement uh, KTM models as well. Uh, in terms of launch, we expect to see this motorcycle uh, in mid to late 2023. Uh, once launched, it will rival the likes of BMW G310R in the Indian market. Now from KTMs, we are going to jump back to Royal Enfields and uh, this time we are going to talk about the next generation Bullet 350. Now we thought this motorcycle would be launched in 2022 but Royal Enfield has still not announced a launch for this motorcycle. Uh, we have seen a lot of spy images and uh, based on those images we know that the design would not be changed a lot and it would continue to look like the uh, current generation Bullet 350 but the mechanical changes would be different and the latest model will use company's J platform that already underpins the uh, Meteor 350, the Classic 350 and the Hunter 350. The power output would remain similar to what we see on the Classic 350. So the 349cc single cylinder engine should uh, deliver 20 bhp of maximum output. Um, in terms of features, uh, they would not change a lot and this motorcycle will continue to use a halogen headlight, a uh, single pod instrument cluster. Uh, base model should get a single channel ABS. The premium version might come with a dual channel ABS version. Uh, and this motorcycle will continue to ride on wire spoked wheels, both featuring 18 meter diameters at the front and the back. Apart from the Bullet 350, there will also be a Bobber 350 that will be based on the J platform, um, but it will be a very stylish looking motorcycle. We have seen uh, the silhouette of the motorcycle and from what we could gauge from it, it will have ape hanger handlebar. So you will have this really um, upright riding position. It will also feature a rider only saddle uh, while the tail light uh, and the number plate would be mounted way back onto the rear fender. Um, we expect to see wire spoke wheels, but Royal Enfield may also offer an alloy wheel version of the bobber. Uh, but the details are not available yet and we expect to hear some more details towards the end of the year. And now from Royal Enfield to Royal Enfield Rival and we are talking about the Bajaj Triumph motorcycles that are heading to the Indian market. Now, uh, this partnership will uh, launch four motorcycles into the 250 to 200 cc displacement and two into the 350 to 400 cc displacement the lower displacement models will come to the indian market initially and the higher displacement models will be sold uh, overseas um, what we know so far is that these motorcycles would be available in two variants one would be a road biased version so it will feature uh, 17 inch wheels on both ends alloy wheels on both ends uh, and then there will be a scrambler model that will feature a 19 inch front and a 17 inch uh, rear wheel again alloy wheels so we would see uh, tubeless tires on this uh, apart from uh, the uh, different wheel sizes the scrambler version will also get additional uh, suspension travel uh, so the upside down front forks on the uh, scrambler version would carry slightly more suspension travel than the road biased version uh, in terms of mechanical specifications uh, the quarter liter motorcycles uh, would use uh, 250 cc engine unless it's a smaller displacement motor we expect it to be 250 cc single cylinder and it's going to be liquid cooled so we expect to see some really nice power output figures there uh, feature list would be uh, pretty solid so we expect to see full led lighting and a bluetooth enabled 
TFT display or maybe a semi digital uh, semi LCD kind of a display on this motorcycle. It would look similar to Triumph's uh, Neo Retro motorcycles that are already available uh, in India and overseas. Um, in terms of safety, we will see dual channel ABS, but that's about it. We don't expect to see uh, features like traction control on uh, this motorcycle. In terms of pricing, we expect uh, these motorcycles to be priced aggressively. So we are looking at an ex-showroom price tag of 2 lakh to 2.25 lakh. Um, the launch, it should come very soon because we have seen the production spec model and uh, we should see these motorcycles in the Indian market by mid-2023, if not uh, later. Now from Bajaj Triumph, we are shifting the focus to Bajaj Auto only and uh, the next motorcycle on the list is the Bajaj P125. Uh, this motorcycle will get styling upgrades and it will look uh, somewhat similar to the Pulsar P150 that was recently launched. But we expect to see slightly lower spec uh, hardware on the motorcycle. So unlike the P150, the P125 should get a halogen headlight. Uh, the P150 gets a projector style unit. Uh, the P125, because it will be uh, more budget focused, it should get a halogen headlight. But the design should remain similar to the P150. So we expect to see sharp upper body panels, uh, body colored headlight masks, split style seats. Um, in terms of features, because this is a 125cc motorcycle, we expect to see a combined braking system, but Bajaj might just surprise us by adding a uh, single channel ABS to this motorcycle. Do note that the Platina 110cc motorcycle also gets ABS and that is the only motorcycle in its segment to feature this safety net. Apart from the uh, safety net, whichever it might be combined braking uh, system or anti-lock braking system, uh, we expect to see a semi-digital instrument cluster that will feature an analog tachometer. It looks really nice, uh, reminds us of the old school motorcycles, so that would be a very good uh, styling element. Apart from that, we'll see uh, a, a halogen headlight, conventional blinkers and an LED taillight at the back. Uh, the launch details are not available uh, officially, but we expect this motorcycle to arrive uh, maybe mid uh, or closer to the festive season because that's when the sales are high, the demand is high. So we expect this motorcycle to arrive uh, after uh, May 2023. And next up is the BSA Gold Star, which will rival the uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 in the Indian market. Now, we have seen this motorcycle in India in production ready guys. This motorcycle is already available in the international markets. Um, in terms of styling, this features a neo retro design that is uh, enhanced by styling elements such as a round headlight, twin pod uh, instrument cluster, and uh, uh, a very, very likable, very uh, old school design. Uh, it does remind us of the Interceptor 650, but it has its own character. In terms of uh, mechanical specifications, unlike the Interceptor, this motorcycle will feature a single cylinder, but it will still be a 650cc unit. Um, we expect to see healthy power output numbers from this uh, engine. The launch details are not available yet, but we have seen a production ready version of this motorcycle already in India. So we expect this uh, model to arrive in the first half of 2023. Uh, it should be priced aggressively uh, and it should arrive in the same price range as the Interceptor. So we expect the showroom price prices to be around three to three and a half lakh rupees. And the last motorcycle on this list is Triumph Motorcycles highest selling model, the Street Triple Range. Now Triumph has unveiled the 2023 uh, Street Triple Range and it's already available in the international markets. Uh, the pre-bookings for this motorcycles have already opened and it will be launched in the Indian market in March 2023 while the deliveries would start in April 2023. Now unlike the international market that gets three variants, uh, the R, RS and the Moto2, the Indian market will only get the R and the RS variants. Unfortunately, the Moto2 edition is not coming to India. The R version will be more budget focused, so it will feature slightly lower specifications, while the RS, which will be more performance oriented, will come with uh, slightly more features and additional ride mode and uh, better hardware. In terms of 
performance. Uh, the motorcycles retain the 765cc engine, but Triumph has retuned them to deliver more power. The R version, for example, makes 118 bhp, while the RS now makes 128 bhp. This motorcycle range will go up against the likes of Ducati Monster in the Indian market. It will also rival the uh, Kawasaki Z900. And uh, the prices are not out yet, but we expect them to be slightly higher than the existing model. So the R version should come in the 10 lakh price range, while the RS should be available closer to the 12 lakh range. The deliveries, as we have said, will start in April. And uh, once launched, uh, we will get to ride these motorcycles and we will bring you a uh, detailed road test review. So make sure you have subscribed to our channel. So that was the list of upcoming motorcycles that we will see in the year 2023. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, you will also get to see a list of upcoming scooters on Pike Valley. So make sure you have subscribed to our channel, clicked on the bell icon so you are notified every time we upload interesting content from the world of two wheels. Till next time, this is Suvil signing off.